fifth of it guys chicken subsea just made two portions of this now here's the base gravy pan and our food is ready ready to eat now guys so enjoy the recipe and i shall see you on the next video hey guys how's it going welcome to this week's video on this week's video guys i've got a very nice recipe for you very simple to make uh, but it's very tasty if you have seen my youtube shorts you may have seen a um, behind the scenes i've shown you the ingredients already um, but nevertheless i have got it here but the recipe uh, is going to be chicken subsea so chicken with vegetable you can use different types of vegetable as you want to what i've gone for i've gone for frozen veg and i've also got some potatoes in this or parboiled potato um, having said that guys and let's get cracking on with the recipe before i do that guys just a big shout out to everyone for supporting the channel giving the hitting the like button subscribing to the channel so thank you and welcome to the new um, new newcomers on our channel so thank you uh, regards to the ingredients guys as you know i will put them in the description box so i'm not going to go through them right now they are going to be in the description box with the measurements of the ingredients and yeah everything else really so yeah let's get cracking on chicken subsea coming your way guys right first things first guys we've got the heat going on on the pan so there we go i'm going to move the ingredients to this side just going to drop some oil in there just going to do one and a half so about four to five tablespoons of vegetable or well, cooking oil let's get this bit there for you a bit more zoomed in before i do that guys check it out the base gravy is here look at the color on this guys it's been on low heat uh, for now so it's all ready to use right first things first i've got three cloves of garlic fresh garlic in there so let's drop that in. Here's the vegetables that I'll be using. So I've got some potato. Um, there's some potato here and I've got some carrots, some peas, some sweet corn and so forth. Fine. Just a typical uh, mix frozen mixed veg uh, from the shops and I've just put some and boiled some potato in there Crushed kasuri methi. Turn the heat down a bit, and I've got my oh, half a chopped onion. Go back closer to you. There. I've got about two two green chilies in there, chopped up. Green chilies is entirely up to you guys. If you want to give the curry a bit more, a bit of a heat, then this is what you can do. But you can straight, you can not use the chilies if you don't want to. Pinch of salt. As we're using fresh onion guys, we're just gonna spend a bit of time just to make it all caramelized, get it softened a little bit. Have the heat on medium to low so you're not burning the onions or anything. Add a bit of base gravy to help. The 
green chili, the garlic, the metal leaves and onion combined together, guys, gives you a really nice aroma they're coming out from the pan. So I've got some tomato peeling that I'm going to add in now. So I'm adding about four, about four to five tablespoons of tomato peeling. Turn the heat low. I've got one and a half teaspoon of mixed curry powder. Got one teaspoon of chili powder. Again, chili powder, adjust it to your to your taste. And here I've got half a teaspoon of coriander powder here, and I've also got half a teaspoon of Kashmiri red chili powder. Now we're just going to cook the spice for a couple of minutes. Now what we can do, because we are using, say, fresh vegetables, then these are not pre-cooked, I'm going to add them now. And what they will do, they will... You just have more time to cook the spices to get into the vegetables as well. Again, I've got the heat on medium to medium to your ice there. Guys, I've actually forgot I don't have any fresh coriander, so if you have got fresh coriander guys, just um, use them as and when you want to. Towards the end, it's good. The best gravy. Pre-cooked chicken, let's get them in there. So I've got about nine peas in there and there are some gravy left as well, so I'm gonna use some of this gravy. I'm going to leave it on a high heat now.
There it is, guys. Guys, don't forget, guys, if you guys haven't liked, uh, please give this uh, recipe a like, subscribe to our channel, and share with others, guys. Well, I'm going to turn the heat to medium to low now, guys, and I'm going to add my final base gravy. So this is going to be easy to be two portions there guys. So I've got about nine pieces of chicken and I've got those vegetables in there as well. So we'll have, uh, me and the missus will have this. Regards to the thickness of the sauce, guys, entirely up to you. Um, I'm going to go for a slightly saucy, uh, but not too saucy, so in, in the middle. Um, but entirely up to you how saucy it'll make. If you want to make it more saucy, add more base gravy. If you like your dishes a bit more dry, um, cook it for a bit longer. And this is it guys, our chicken subsy is ready. Less than 15 minutes. So it's been about, well it's been less than 12 minutes actually. So it's all ready now, so I'm just gonna plate that up and we are good. Let's get that closer for you, check it out. Look at that. So maybe... One of the things with cooking BRI courage guys, once you've got everything prepped, so everything's pre-cooked, it's pretty much ready, really, in no time. So let's take the heat off. And let's get these plated up. And there we have two portions of chicken sabzi. There it is, guys. Absolutely amazing. So if you've got some coriander, guys, you can garnish with some coriander. Um, I've actually run out, so I'm doing the video in the evening. So, yes, yeah, so I've got some coriander powder in there anyway, so that'll be absolutely fine. Anyway, guys, so check it out. Chicken sabzi is ready, so we're just going to have that to eat now, guys. Guys, thank you ever so much for watching this video. If you haven't already done so, guys, please hit that like button subscribe to our channel, share with others, and thank you so much for your support, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.